Today we're talking about the seven modes of the major scale. Now in order to talk about these concepts effectively, I'm going to do a very quick review of some music theory basics. When we're thinking about music in terms of pitch, it's divided up into octaves. This is not a random assignment, it is a fact of physics. An octave is what occurs when you double the vibrational frequency of a note or when you cut it in half. A C at this octave has exactly half the vibrations per second of a C at this octave. The reason they sound so similar to us is because their vibrational patterns fit perfectly inside of each other. Now in Western music, we split octaves up into 12 notes. And when you play those in series, it is known as the chromatic scale. At the end of the 12 notes, the scale returns to the same note one octave higher, and the series starts all over again. So instead of thinking of a scale laid out as a line, we can visualize it as a circle that returns upon itself. The space between each of these notes is called a half step or a semitone. For this video, I'm gonna be using the terminology whole steps and half steps, but if you're more familiar with tone and semitone, it's the exact same thing. All of the different scales in Western music are created by removing some of the notes from the chromatic scale in order to make different patterns. Normally these patterns consist of whole steps and half steps, but sometimes we get a step and a half or a minor third, such as in the harmonic minor scale. But today we're talking about the major scale, which has the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So in order to create this pattern, we have to remove some of the notes from the chromatic scale. Now we renumber the remaining notes in order to give us the seven tone scale that is the basis for most of Western music. All of the modes of the major scale are based on this same pattern. They just start and end at a different point. Let's say we're in the key of C. If we start at the point that is now labeled one and we play from there back to one again, we get the Ionian mode or the major scale. If we start on the sixth degree, which is A, and play from A to A, this is the Aeolian mode, or the natural minor scale. If we start on the fifth degree of the scale and play from G to G, we get the G Mixolydian scale. Mixolydian is by far the most popular mode after the major and minor modes. All told, there are seven modes of the major scale, each of which corresponds with starting and ending at a different point on this pattern. If you start at the second point, it's Dorian. The third is Phrygian, then Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, and back to Ionian. Now, if you're gonna start using these modes regularly in your own playing, it becomes useful to start learning the patterns, not just what they are compared to their relative major, such as Mixolydian has the pattern whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, or the same as a major scale, but with a lowered seventh degree. But if this is all really new to you and you wanna just start experimenting with the sounds of the different modes, you can just figure out which mode you wanna play and then count around the circle to figure out which relative major scale you would be playing and then start and end on the appropriate note. Such as if you wanted to play G Dorian, you would count back one whole step and then you would be playing an F major scale from G to G. Now, just as the pattern of the major scale stays the same, but we start in different places, the chords built off of those degrees of the major scale also stay the same. The chords built off the different scale degrees of the major scale look like this. Now, when we move the numbers in order to change the home of the key, you can see that the chords stay in the same place. So if this is G Mixolydian, you can see that our one chord is now a dominant seven chord, our seventh chord is now a major seven chord, and the third chord becomes our half diminished or minor seven flat five chord. 
I have a bunch more music theory lessons planned for the near future, so if you thought this was interesting, hit that like, hit the subscribe, and the algorithm will know to show you those videos when they come out.